Here I am in YouTube land, John Lennon. Yes, John Lennon. It's an Epiphone John Lennon, but it's still a John Lennon, and it's still very cool, and it's got the original style pickup in it. And unfortunately, it isn't mine, but I was just getting on here real quick to show you something that I did. Um, if you notice, there's brass pins on there, and this guitar has an interesting little setup everybody. Hello, by the way. I get to talk and didn't even say hi. Um, so there's, there's a ground in here because it's essentially an electric guitar. It's not uh, the pickup underneath the saddle like you normally see on, on an acoustic guitar. So um, the pickup is here and it's wired up. There's no battery and it's wired up like an electric guitar. Well, for an electric guitar to work properly, it has to have a ground circuit or it'll just buzz like crazy. Well, this one was buzzing like crazy, and I found the ground wire was dangling down inside the thing, and I realized that the ground wire was simply stuck in here from Epiphone Gibson. They just literally stuck it in the hole there where the wire would contact the string. So um, the owner of this guitar, Denny, uh, had an interesting little suggestion that we put some shielding tape back here so the tape would act as a contact point for the wire and the strings and everything like that. And I did that and it almost fixed it. And then I realized it needed better connection. So I dug out these brass pins that I've had for a while. So now strings, metal strings to brass, to the insulation tape, to the ground wire, to the electronics. And now, It's got a little little buzz still in it, a tiny, tiny bit, but um, as I've said before on these videos, that's my, my 50 plus year old house, I believe, that's doing that. Um, I'm in the new studio room that I'm arranging, I'm not done with, and one of the things I have to move from the other room into this room is I have a Furman power conditioner that runs all of my musical equipment. And the Furman takes out um, ground loops and AC hums and things like that. It has filtration built into it. So I'm going to install the Furman over here, and then I'm going to order another one and put it in that other room. But um, in the meantime, you get a, a little buzz, but it's hardly noticeable. And when your fingers are on the guitar, no buzz. So, and it's uh, it's making contact with all the strings. you heard Winky come in here and go meow meow come here you poo come on everybody say hi to Winky Winky likes to have some attention she says pay attention to me world all the world pay attention to the Winky because I'm in charge of everything you little poo here get down I'll come feed you in a minute did to this thing before I get off here real quick what we did to this thing essentially because he wants he just got this and he wants to play it tomorrow night in our church group and um, so I basically kind of did a band-aid to it I got it to where I got most of the buzz if not 99% of the buzz to go away um, it's a ground hum it's really not a buzz it's a hum but um, I got most of that to go away about 99% it's just barely there and, and that's kind of normal with these. But I got that to mostly go away, so I think it'll be functional for tomorrow night. And then what I'm going to do is the next time he has to change strings on this, then I'm going to take it apart and um, pull these out, the pots, and put better quality pots in, shield the inside of the guitar here by the pots over to here, run a proper ground, and get everything, the circuit, properly grounded with a low resistance ground loop. So um, that's going to take a little bit more than just one 
hours worth of evening time doing it. So this is a little bit of a, of a, a Band-Aid. It'll last for probably a long time. But when he changes the strings, I'm going to go in and I'm going to do proper surgery that'll, that'll make it correct and make it right. Um, if I remember correctly, the Gibson version of this guitar was shielded inside it like that. So, um, and I think it had a little metal strip behind here, which this one doesn't have for some reason. So anyways, John Lennon and uh, Gotta Love It. on a John Lennon guitar so from John Lennon's spirit and me and Winky good night and happy Monday and we'll see you soon bye